Hello everybody and welcome to Game A Dare. It is day 96 here on Game A Dare. It is a free to play Friday and today we are going to be playing How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. And uh, I can tell you right now, get a Steam account and be free to play games. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a great way to deal with boredom. Um, loneliness, well, I, I have other thoughts on that, which if you follow the links in the description, you might find all of my uh, information on how to deal with boredom and loneliness. Anyway, we are going to play How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness. It is a, oh, a guide for the isolated. Harold Fletcher has been grounded to his bedroom for over 30 years. Join award-winning journalist Nigel Wimble as he discovers how one man has coped with boredom and loneliness from the years of isolation in this one-of-a-kind free documentary film simulator it has mostly or oh sorry it has positive reviews and it is available on steam for free so we are going to jump right in and play it okay Sure. Let's play the game. You are Nigel Wimble, hard-hitting PBTV documentary filmmaker. You are at 23 Millbury Close to finish filming the final episode of your award-winning series. How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, a guide for the isolated. You have come to talk with Harold Fletcher, a 43-year-old man who has been grounded to his bedroom for over 30 years. Since his mother Margaret only allows Harold visitation for 15 minutes a day, you only have enough time to talk about three topics. Okay. Carefully choose three items of interest from Harold's room to learn how he copes with boredom and loneliness. Every item tells a story, but not every story is relevant to Nigel's show. Confirm your selections, then watch the documentary unfold. Oh, okay. Your show will be scored by a focus group at the end. Good luck. Alright, well, we're going to start with the guitar, because, um... Uh, examine guitar, think about guitar. How long has Harold been playing guitar? What if I've discovered a virtuoso? It looks well used. Mother says I sing like a dog. Howling in agony. Hmm. I don't buy it. I'm going to select the guitar. I'm I'm pretty much gonna pick the low hanging fruit here. I'm going to select the guitar, I'm gonna select the TV. I'm going to examine the paper this sack. This looks like a screenplay. Is Harold writing a movie? I like to write erotic drama set in science fiction landscapes. Science fiction landscapes? And I think I will select the telescope. So, guitar, TV, telescope. Let's, let's do this thing. Turn it down a little bit. Isolation is no joke. It's not just boring, it's lonely too. Nobody understands that more than the subject of tonight's episode of How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness 
a guide for the isolated. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Harold Fletcher has been grounded to his bedroom since 1986. That's over 30 years. His mother has offered us a rare glimpse into his life as prisoner and son. On your feet, Fletcher. You have a visitor. <laughs> this is bizarre. I hope to learn how Harold has coped with the boredom and loneliness from 30 years of isolation. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. The guitar is Harold's vessel to unseen worlds. And he is the captain. If mother allows it, I will play you a new piece I've been working on, entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. Hmm. Sitting in my car, my little plastic car, yes, here we are. Oh, my car, my little plastic car, take me to the road and I'll sing this song. Old hot tar, not in my car, these tires are made for asphalt roads. <laughs> Poor car. I like the riff. It's a sweet riff. Hey, achievement unlocked. Plastic With race car bed. isolated idiot, watching television is an escapism we all take for granted. Well, Mother treated me to a modern television last year. She says if I'm good this year, she will allow me to keep the plug for an extra ten minutes. But you haven't been good, have you, Harold? Tell the man about the carrot you stuck up your nose. I told you not to smuggle food in here. Well, Kevin likes a snack when we watch the first 23 minutes of a movie. This is not only bizarre, but also in the sky, you like can sometimes forget disturbing. Where your feet are. For Harold, he never forgets where his feet are, but still has sights on the stars. This old telescope has got me through many an afternoon. Sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and people at the bus stop are advancing mm. Germans. They wouldn't stand a chance if it was a sniper rifle, let me tell you. They could try taking cover, but I'm pretty sure the bullets would penetrate the bus shelter. It would be an absolute bloodbath. Yeah, I saw that coming. My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom and loneliness. I'm Nigel Wimble. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates cows and why so many stomachs. 9 p.m. Wednesday night on PPTV. Peanut butter television? Okay, focus group report. Very poignant moment when he pulled out the guitar, 10 out of 10. Uh, would be happy his TV... Sh he should be happy his TV is switched off. He doesn't have to watch this drivel, 4 out of 10. Uh... I use my telescope the exact same way. Amazing show, Nigel. 8 out of 10. So, that's not bad. A 10, an 8, and a 4. That's... Alright. I guess we're not going to have a 10 minute video. We're going to try it again. Let's, uh... See if we can identify... some other interesting things. Alright, carefully choose three items. A mural. Rat.
rabbit, fish tank, truck, bee poster, bed. So there's really not that much to choose. Harold Fletcher, a curious man in a curious situation. Is this going to take long? Mother says visitation is only 15 minutes today. Even though you're the first visitor I've ever had. Hmm. Harold's mother Margaret. How long will she punish him for? Oh, I wish you'd stop staring at me, Mr. Wimble. <laughs> Harold doesn't need a father. All right. Oh, I missed something. All right, I'm going to select the clock. I'm going to select his mother, and I'm going to select his stack of papers. Let's shoot that documentary. <laughs> this game is terrible. <laughs> do, 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 do. Tonight at 9 on PBTV, we have the final part of Nigel. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at... Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Alright. Well, Harold's always been a naughty boy. He's been quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even in that he's pissing on the cat. In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behaviour seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. Hmm. I had a look around Harold's room to discover what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. For Harold, the watchful clock is ever ticking. In a way, time has been his only companion. I've always hated Crab Clock. He's always been there mocking me with his incessant ticking and talking. Did you know he's ticked roughly one billion sixty million six hundred and eighty thousand and one, two, three times since my incarceration? I didn't bother counting the tox. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> the achievement there is Wilson. Harold's mother has always played prison warden. From womb to room. Margaret. Do you worry about the harm this isolation may be causing, Harold? Harold oh, bolt this on himself. What about me? I've been isolated too. I haven't had sex since Harold's father died. No one would ever want to be stepfather to that little bastard. You should be making this yeah. documentary about me. I'm the one being punished. Yeah, that's the reason. I'm so lonely, Mr. Wimble. I spied a screenplay Harold had been working on. A movie producer in the making? He suddenly wouldn't look at a place in Hollywood. He decided to read me some lines from his new screenplay card, Brad Planet and the Tentacle of Temptation. She ran a slightly damp tentacle across his cheek as oh he gazed longingly into her compound eyes. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. Run away to Planet Vargon with me. I love you too, Brad, but my father... Let me talk to him. He'll understand once I show him how much I love you. Now come here and kiss me. Oh, Brad. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Brad slowly sticks his finger into her gooey. That will do, Harold. You're a bloody space pervert. <laughs> Space perverts. Perverts in space. My time with Harold has come to... Yeah, alright. With 
I'm Nigel. Join us next week, 9 p.m. So, the review on that documentary. Uh, 4 out of 10, 1 out of 10, uh, 10 out of 10. Alright, so we liked the screenplay and the guitar. Is that right? I'm wondering if we can get the uh, the tens. How? All right. So rabbit. Fish tank. Truck. Are you sure? Hello. Are you sure this is the saddest music you could find? We hope he can explain to Alright. Harold and his co habitor an overstuffed rabbit, have been through hell together but at least had each other to ease the loneliness. Yes, Kevin is a dear friend. We've Kevin. become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. What do you mean by that? Well, Kevin has needs and I have needs. I'm forever sewing that towel back on. <laughs> we saw this kind of thing go on in dear our prison me. episode. So I'm not entirely surprised to see it happen in here, too. Whether this arrangement is mutual, we will never know. As Kevin has decided to remain quiet during the making of this documentary. <laughs> you can lose hours to the peace and tranquility of a well-maintained aquarium. But like the fish, Harold is swimming in a sea of isolation. I sometimes look at the fish tank as if it is my bedroom and I am mother. But then I felt it wasn't fair to keep the fish isolated like me, so I set it free. What did you do with the fish? Well, I took it to school to release into the nearby brook. But by the time I had got there, it had dried out in my pocket. Poor fish. The poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder of an absent father. But sometimes, life on the road means, Mummy, when's Daddy coming home? Harold's father has been absent for most of his life. Mostly owing to the fact that he's dead. <laughs> he was involved in a massive collision, resulting in 52 deaths. Oh dear. Father made me this truck himself. He said he used to work on it while he was on long journeys. <laughs> the police officer said he was whittling the last piece when his truck collided with the school bus. <laughs> Father Driver Tinker Die. I do like the um, well, time with name of the achievements. Come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, with I'm Nigel Wimble. Join us next week as Nigel investigates cows. And why so? Maybe. All right. So, how did we do? Alright, so the rabbit, the screenplay, and the guitar will get us 10 out of 10s, we hope.
Let's see what happens when we get town out of town. Start with the guitar, go for the rabbit, and then the screenplay. And then I think we're going to just skip through it since we've seen it all already. Tonight, no. Well, maybe we'll listen to the song. Here we are, sitting in my car, my little plastic car, yes, here we are. Oh my car, my little plastic car, take me to the road and I sing this song. Apparently we can't skip the song anyway. These tires are made for asphalt roads. We saw whether this is Kevin is just Next week, as Nigel investigates video games, is it more than just bang bang your mum's a fag? 9 p.m. Wednesday night, PPTV. Alright, how did we do? Oh, one month later, the following footage was uploaded to us from one of our missing cameras. Oh dear. Well, when we're in my room alone, I start to take off all my clothes. I wish I had a camera phone, cause that's a nice erotic pose. Or we could make a calendar and you could be December. Oh, carrots help you see in the dark. We don't need lights when we fuck. I just need somewhere to park. Actually, I think it's too dark. I can't see anything. Can we put the lights on low? Kevin, you're a friend of mine Through thick and thin, together to the end of time Oh Kevin, you're a friend of mine But I never really took the time to find out what was on your mind Just what you have in your insides Oh Kevin, I'm so sorry, I don't want to see you cry Oh, Kevin, when we're making love, who you really thinking of? I know you like him strong and so wait, no, not Mr. Wimble. I'm not sure he's into you or even available. Oh, Kevin, you're a friend of mine. Through thick and thin, together to the end of time. Pretty good with that guitar, apparently. Harold, 
I'm about to barge in, so make sure you're decent. Come mm. in, Mother. You better not be touching Kevin up again. I'm merely serenading him, Mother. What are you doing with that camera? Where did you get it? I found it, Mother. Mr. Wimble must have dropped it. I thought I'd use it to record a song for Kevin. You can play it back if you want to listen. No, I don't want to bloody listen to it. You stole that camera, didn't you, you thieving little puss? What else have you been recording? Mummy's secrets? It will come back here looking for it, you know. Hmm. Oh, it will come back here looking for it. Mummy's going to get changed. Give me that camera. I'll make sure Mr. Wimble gets what he's looking for. You stay up here in your bedroom. Okay, Mother. Don't hurt him like the other men. Oh, dear. Award winning. 10 out of 10. Hooray. Well, I guess we should look at the credits. Yo, my name is Harold, I'm 40 years how old. I'm going to fall off for being naughty, not nice. But I'm a good boy, really. I just used to be silly. Pissing on the cat and smoking jelly beans like crack. My life's a little strange living in a tiny cage. But you know I'm not a This is episode three? Is this, this a sequel or is it just, you know, episode three? Anyway, <laughs> I think we're done with this. Oy. Thanks for joining me here on Game of Day Air today for free to play free. Friday. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the old thumbs up. Also, go ahead and uh, leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. It's really hard to talk over rapping, even if it's not great rapping. Although, it's not bad. Um, <laughs> please uh, hit that like button, leave me a comment and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and when you do make sure that you uh, hit that dingy bell because that will let you know when I upload new videos which I do every single day uh, this has been free to play Friday we have been playing how to cope with uh, isolation and loneliness or something like that um, thanks so much for joining me and please come back tomorrow when we'll be playing something you want decided do you want us to hear isolated well i think your silence says it all so the chance of escape is improbable but i do have one alternative step aside brother if you want to live well that was a dark rhyme wasn't it kevin i wouldn't really kill her i was just messing honestly kevin i would never kill her i'd never suffocate her and throw her in a river i love my mum she's my only mother i just need a pillar should be easy to smother oh no wait did i say that out loud can i delete this or is it safe to the cloud well kevin I wish you just sung your verse. If the police see this, I'll be under a verse. A verse not a word, but it rhymes with verse. I meant to say a rest, but it came out worse. But now I'm just starting to digress. I shut up now and give it a verse. But if you like this and you're not police, and if you want more, I've got the beats. I'll contribute to a feast. I'm a Nora Specialist. I've been giving out my rhymes. You can find them online. <laughs> See, it wasn't so hard, was it, Kevin? I'll just do all the rhyming. <laughs>